Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game. Do not ignore this step. Try this once. Now the next step is to go to Steam and then click on play. Now once you click on play you can select the second option and then click on play and then check. If that does not work the next step is to set Windows power plan to power saver. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel control panel now click on hardware and sound now click on power options now over here I see high performance balanced but if you have power saver you can select power saver apply the settings and then you can launch the game and then check now if you want to select high performance and balanced do it once the shader completion is complete then you can put it back to balance or high performance. Now the next step is to update system BIOS. Now this is important. So go to your system manufacturer website. So this is just an example. If you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, select your computer, and then find the drivers for your computer, select the right operating system, and then find the BIOS. Now once you find the BIOS, now click on download and you can run this file and update your system BIOS. Now in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to underclock your cpu now you can take help from your system manufacturer and then you can underclock your cpu now you can install this intel extreme tuning utility tool so you can search this tool in google and you can install this so you can go to intel website and you can download this install it and you can run this and then you can lower down cpu core ratio to 54 maybe 53 or 52 this has worked for a few players so it might work for you you can try this but when you apply the settings, you might have to do it every time when you restart the computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to Steam, then make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now make, make a double click over here, launch the game from here. So instead of launching the game from Steam, you can launch the game from here make a double click if that does not work make a right click then select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game if that does not work make a right click once again this time select put a check over here select windows 8 over here and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time select windows 7 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working then put a check on disable full screen optimization this has worked for a few players so it, you can try this so hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working then open b1 folder binaries win64 and this time make a right click on this exe file and then select properties and then go to this tab and do the same thing run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then check if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game this has worked for many players so it might work for you so try this now when you put a check on all these boxes still it's not working in that case you can uncheck it if it's not working then you can uncheck it go back and do the same thing with the first exe file if not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you're able to launch this game, you can try this. 
if you're not able to launch the game, you can follow the next step. Now, if you're able to launch the game, then turn off frame generation. Now, this has worked and lower down graphics settings. Also turn off ray tracing. So launch the game first. So go to settings and then go to graphics and then if the frame generation is on, turn it off. Now, even if you're using DLSS, turn this off. So turn off frame generation and then check. Now, super resolution, I will just set it to 50. And frame generation is off. Ray tracing, I will just turn it off for now. And then if the graphics presets are is set to high or very high, then, then you can change it to high. You can even select medium over here. And you can even go for low, but I'll keep at medium. And then apply the settings. Now go to display. Now if this is set to like borderless, you can try window mode and resolution. If this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. VSync, uh, you can try both. Like you can turn off the VSync and then check. You can even turn it on and then check. Frame rate, I will just for now, I will just set it to 60. Motion blur, I will set it to you can try weak and then apply the settings and then check the performance. Now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, AVG, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows Security, then go to Privacy and Security if you have Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, click on Update and Security, and then click on Windows Security. Now click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down, at the end you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now click on Allow an App through Control to Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow. And then click on Add an Allowed App. Now click on Browse All Apps. Now go to the Game Installation Folder. So if the game is installed in C Drive, open C Drive, Program Files x86. Now open the Steam Folder. Now open the Steam Apps Folder. Now open the Common Folder. And then open the Game Folder. Select this .exe file. Click on Open. Again, click on Add an Allowed App, Browse All Apps, and then open B1 Folder, Binaries, Win64. Select this .exe file. Now click on Open. Now launch the game. Now Type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Now go to system and security and then click on Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select this exe file. Click on open. Now click on add. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on Allow another app, click on Browse, and then open B1 binaries Win64, and select this exe file, click on Open. Again, click on Add. In my case, I have already added the game. Now, once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. This is important. So, if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your product type. For me, it's GE Force Experience. So make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here. And then if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. And this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download. And then click on download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to 
run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then select this exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added, in my case I have already added the game. Once the game is added, you can click on the game, click on options, select high performance and then click on save. Again click on browse and then open B1 folder binaries Win64. Select this B1 Win64 exe file and once the game is added, launch the game. In my case, I have already added the game over here. So click on options and then select high performance over here. Now click on save and then launch the game. Next step is to roll back graphics driver. Do not ignore this. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website and then once you go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, the right operating system, and then click on start search and then scroll down and then you will see multiple like the current one right now GeForce Game Ready Driver is 560.81 uh, the previous one is 560.70 so you can install this one or GeForce 556.12 click on get download download it run the exe file but when you do a clean installation do a installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation after the clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game now if you have AMD card now for AMD card, first of all, you have to uninstall the current version of graphic card. So uninstall the current driver. Now once you uninstall it, then after the uninstall, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go to AMD website and then go to graphics, then select your graphic card. This is just an example. I don't have AMD graphic. So select your graphic card over here, then click on submit and then click on previous driver over here. Click on previous driver and then click on your operating system and then the latest one is 24.6.1. If this is not working, you can try 24.5.1. For many users, installing this 24.4.1 has worked. So you can download it, but make sure that you uninstall. You have to uninstall the current version, restart your computer, then you have to install the uh, older version, this one. And then after the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if, if you're using hotas, pedals, wheel, etc. is connected to your computer, disconnect it. Also, if you have any kind of USB adapter connected which you're not using, any kind of USB dongle connected, disconnect it. Sometimes we have extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect it. Some, and if you have any kind of virtual controller like VJoy, you can uninstall it or disable it. Also try launching the game on single monitor. If you have multiple monitor setup, in that case, launch the game on single monitor. Disable overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off and then launch the game. Also, if you have like Discord, if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. If you have overlay on in MSI Afterburner, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner or any kind of overclocking application, close it and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, try to undervolt once and then check. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015-17-19-22. Download this x86 file and then run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, no action was taken as system reboot is required because I have already installed it. It's telling me to restart my computer. So in your case, it will install it. Now download x64. You have to download both x86 and x64. So click on it and then run this exe file as well. Again, if you see repair, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. In my case, I have already installed. Once the installation is complete, you will see a restart option like this. So click on restart. Make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. Do not ignore this. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. 
update your windows windows 11 to version 23h2 so you can just type in w i n v e r winver in windows search box here you can see version 23h2 so update your windows to this version and then launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall you go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive and then in that case you can install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.